thank you for joining me. It's Michelle, Letters from Nantucket. Starting my 2017 pages with you. Um, I'm, you're about to see my 2016 journal pop in. Uh, I wanted to see what I did in my New Year's sort of journaling last year and get a little bit of inspiration before diving in and selecting washi tapes and things like that. And sadly, with this video, looking back didn't really help. So when I start picking through all of <laughs> The washi tape you're gonna see I'm sort of all over the place and that's okay what I love about the process is that I find once they start you know sorting through everything and picking up pieces to play with sometimes it all just sort of falls in line naturally and organically and that's definitely what happened with this process that you're about to see the little manila cards that you see with the definitions of them those are from a paper basket on Etsy who I actually found via a suggestion from Cory at the Recycle and they're wonderful they come in a little set I can't remember how much for a pack I ordered them over a year ago and I still have a fair amount left and I thought I would pick those up to see you know pull some words that were giving me inspiration because to be totally honest with you I had no clue of a word or a theme or anything that I really wanted to start on for this year. The past three weeks I've sort of been in some motions with lots going on as we all are on the holidays. So this was sort of my time to sit down and just let it all happen. So I picked out those cards. These were all words that seemed to really um, ignite some spark inside of me. Um, and especially when I was thinking about the year to come. I had a wonderful year personally on so many levels um, in 2016 that there was a brief moment in my time where I thought maybe my word would be repeat, but then when I put that in a global context, I was like, abort, abort, go back. That is not a good plan. <laughs> so um, the three that came out, uh, gratitude, inspiration, I'm trying to remember the other one, but it'll pop into screen eventually. Um, I thought, you know, this would be a good place to start as I move forward. Um, going through my takeout boxes, I also pulled out a couple of cards that um, have some typewriter quotes on them that I did a few weeks back. So I pulled those out, again, thinking that, you know, maybe there was something there. If I didn't want to go with a word, I could go with a really wonderful quote. And in the same spirit as the <laughs> word in terms of design, uh, form, style, things like that, starting with a blank slate, nothing like tabula rasa to really get a good outcome going. So I'm doing some pretty thorough sorting right now, um, but it all worked out well, so, but bear with me. And I, if you're like me, you enjoy seeing other people go through their stash, so here's some eye candy for you. These cards that I just pulled out, all with the New Year's theme, are actually from the 2016 January Studio Calico kit. Um, it's funny, like five days after I finished this, the 2016 kit came up, but I wasn't um, patient, and so I just dove in, and it's pretty easy to update a year, cover it up. Uh, oh, my three words, inspire, create, and gratitude. I could have used all of them, which I'm pretty sure was my thought process at this time as I was sorting through things. But uh, jumping back to the Studio Calico 2016 January kit. Um, I had those left. I actually got the kit later in the year when it was offered on sale, so I've sort of been holding on to them, uh, choosing to use them, and I'm so excited that I finally got to put one down on paper, and I hope to you know, use more as I go through the month and journal and document and list and dream about the future. Um, the tag on the top left is from the December... Wait, let me think this one through. It's from a Planner Society kit. I believe it is the December 2016 kit. Uh, and I loved that green floral pattern that was included, so I just used a date stamp and I put blank the blank dash in for where the days were so that that tab actually sticks out uh, my traveler's notebook and I can flip to January really quickly. The new year seemed like a great excuse to use a tab because between you and me I love having tabs, ribbons, you know, cardstock, anything stick out from the pages. Um, I think it adds a, a neat touch and sort of a personal flair, but it's funny because sometimes things will stick out and I think that I'll enjoy it, but I don't. Um, you know, once I put a 
gold heart on and it was sort of a little off center so part of it the curve came out and it was in a nice like thick gold foil and it lasted for three or four days and then I had to cut it off but those pink ribbons up top that have been there uh, since the end of December I'm totally fine with so it's fun to think about how bizarre we are <laughs> as humans when it comes to our taste and what we create but it's all part of the fun of it I incorporated some of uh, that beautiful Florentine blue paper. Uh, if you follow me on Instagram or in the previous videos, you might have seen it pop up here and there. So the Studio Calico card that I chose um, has in those big bold letters, it's a new year, and it's got that 2017 on it. But when I was looking at the definition cards, I, I decided to pick Inspire. Um, I think it's a good year to share the best of ourselves with one another and to inspire each other and to support and embrace human beings. This is my own <laughs> personal opinion, um, but it's, you know, it's where I come from. I always try and lead with my heart and lead with kindness um, and celebrate and recognize our shared humanness. So inspire just seemed like a great fit for me and sort of where I am right now in my life. I was happy to put it in there and I'm actually going to use the tag to cover up that 2016. So there's this cool thing going on right now. It's a new year, a new opportunity, another chance, a new beginning, embrace it and then inspire is down there. So I, it feels really good to me and having like things that I love on that page which would be the Florentine paper and this great planner society tab and then also the great planner society washi coming in from the September 2016 kit like these are all things that I really enjoy and the color palette and you know the sort of the mixing of the patterns this is pretty much like my soul on a page right there <laughs> which is fun to see um, and also just again sometimes picking up what you love and for me at least picking up what I love and, and going at things without any notion of how it should be or what the outcome should be really does create these little bits of magic and sort of playing off the purple I wanted to bring in some of these new stickers that I recently got when I was over in America for Michaels. It's really fun for me to go off and buy supplies and, you know, dream a little bit with all of the options that are available. Um, don't get me wrong, I love coming back to Nantucket and living this, like, quiet, wonderful life by the sea. It's, it's magical. But I was happy to bring those in. And I, at this point, I'm really playing with the purple to um, create accents. With the accents in place, the page is really starting to come together. And I'm about to shift my focus to adding just a few more interesting pieces, a little bit more dimension, um, you know, a few fashion girls here and there to liven things up before I dedicate a space to journal on which was my intention uh, putting the paper down I, I wanted to add some form of label to the bottom of uh, part of the page to write on and then you know accent with a few stickers for the right page which I'll be moving on to in just a little bit after a few more fun embellishments and stickers here and there again when I started I didn't have a plan for it I had been playing with this idea in my head of seven for 2017 um, I, at one point was before I sort of dove into the journal I was playing with some lettering on some sticker sheets to see how it all went and I just never found sort of the right place to write that um, but at this point I've been sort of playing with this thought that I really wanted not seven resolutions or you know seven items of a bucket list but just sort of seven thoughts to keep in my head seven things to be mindful about um, in the new year to help me grow and evolve as a human being and also to spread a little bit of happiness and as much as I can um, you know right now there's it's there's a lot of heartache and a little bit of chaos um, in the news and if you died you know for at least what I digest and trying to understand that and I my strategy in life up to this point personally has always been when I'm overwhelmed and things seem a little out of control to take a deep breath and move things back 
to the basics and to start on the most fundamental level possible to move forward. And for me, that's all about building community and inspiring people and doing good things. And I had a really amazing experience teaching scrap journaling uh, with some tween girls this past fall on the island which you know being able to share something that I love so much and with other people um, creates a little glow inside and you know it, it really makes me feel a part of a community and I hope that that is what I also get to share with you all through here that is definitely my intention and for all of the darlings who have been nothing but supportive and encouraging and kind and giving me thumbs up and following and liking and subscribing um, here as well as on Instagram thank you so much uh, you have no idea <clears throat> how much light and excitement and happiness and joy you put into my heart and soul and everything I make as well so you're a part of this for me and I'm uber appreciative <laughs> thank you and moving along from that great moment um, back to the 7 for 2017 this is sort of how it's all come about at this point uh, using some of the translucent studio calico alpha numeric stickers um, at, and I'm pulling in again you see like purples and blues and greens accenting what's happening on the left I had originally hoped to do one color dot all the way down but then the sets only come with four each so I figured you know, purple numbers, blue and green dots, everything will be just the gem washi or the, the geode washi actually. I am so in love with this stuff. It's so beautiful and when you just do a quick fussy cut and pop it on the page like any of sort of the illustrative washi tapes, it's just it's magical and it adds such depth because there's great dimension in it. So I, I knew after I had put the Fashion Girl sticker down that I had wanted to bring in some more of those illustrative elements to really give this page life and excitement. And so I did that with my most favorite washi tape. So you've got the geode and then the art washi, which the palette with the paint, how great is that? There was a brush there. I decided to take it off. It just didn't seem right. And then this love letters washi tape or all of the envelopes, they're watercolors, but they all look little different accents to them and they're quite charming that had to go on there because snail mail and journaling um, is a big part of my life and then these European buildings I cannot get over how amazing they are if there are a way I could create a little tiny city that looked exactly like this washi team I would live there and be so happy with my dog for the rest of my life and probably all of you as well um, and then the last thing I wanted to pop in, that little teacup and teapot sticker is actually a drawing of mine that I photographed and then popped on to a sticker sheet and put it out and then did a little fussy cut around. I thought it would be cool to put my own little illustration in to mix with all of the other ones. And then rather than doing that 7 for 2017, I just put on Remember. It just seemed like a good easy nice action <laughs> that wasn't too <clears throat> authoritative in nature and just sort of set the tone of just like a nice gentle thoughtful page of things to keep in mind throughout the year uh, looking for stickers at this point you can see the label that I just popped on and I have to get better about pushing my journal up into frame I apologize to you girls so much I even have a post-it note out of frame that you can't see that says do not let your journal go below this line. And I get so into making that I naturally end up pulling the book closer and closer to me and I try and stay as far away from the frame as possible and this is what happens. So I think I need to get over it, I need to be closer to the frame, I need to push my planner up and just embrace it. Fortunately, for our purposes though, I am done, so you won't miss anything else. <laughs> Here is the finished product, uh, pictures and all. I 
I'm so happy how this turned out and I'm sharing with you now sort of my writing in it so you can see the full effect. Thank you so much for watching. Subscribe if you haven't, like this video, join me, comment, I'd love to hear from you and I hope you have a wonderful day and create something beautiful just for you. Thank you.